on you dirty men. There's nothing for you to grab there, toots. Nothing for you to grab. Just a little A cup. That's all you're grabbing. Shame on you perverted men. You're nasty. Nasty, nasty slut. That's all you are is a little slut. Just nasty. Vile and sick. Wicked. There's nothing cute about you. Nothing cute. You're recording this to put it on Facebook to get some likes. This is your entertainment for the day, isn't it? This is your entertainment. And trust me, you're not going to be laughing on Judgment Day when you stand before God, your maker, the one who created you. You're not going to be laughing. In fact, he might be laughing at you. He's going to cast you into the lake of fire unless you are a bunch of desperate, horny freaks. You're wicked. Wicked, wicked. Jesus hates. Jesus hates workers of iniquity. Jesus might just hate your little red guts. He might hate your guts. Little Susie, Jesus just might hate your guts and cast you in a lake of fire. And newsflash, you deserve it. You mock God. You laugh at God. God's going to laugh at you. God's going to have the final laugh. Along with your little perverted men there. They're not even men. They're more like dogs. You're both those so-called boys. Those so-called men are like little poodles. Desperate. They're desperate because they can't get a real woman. They can't get a real woman, so they hang around tramps and sluts. That's all they want. They want tramps and sluts. They don't even want a real woman who knows how to cook and clean. They just want some property. That's all they want. Just a bunch of little whores. Yeah, that's all you want. Little wannabe gang members, gangsters, want whores and sluts. That's all you want. Walk like a man. That's what you need to do. You need to be a man. What are you doing in there? What are you doing in there? What are you doing in there? Are you already drunk? You're already drunk. It's only 5 o'clock in the afternoon. You're already drunk? Yes. You need Jesus. That's what you need. Yes, I need you Jesus. need Jesus. I need Jesus. You do. You need to cry out to God. There is right Drop there. to your knees. There is. And cry to out to God. You Ask him to save you. you. He you can listen. cleanse you. He can make you free. He can purify you. You can be righteous yes. just like you. Just don't touch me. Just if it touch me, you're going to find deserve me. deserve hell. All right? You All right. deserve hell. Yes. You deserve yes. hell. Yes. You too. Yes. And you're going to yes. see your father yes. the devil. You will meet yes. your father the yes. devil. That's yes. what you'll meet. Yes. You'll meet the father, your devil, your father. And what? That's what you're going to meet My on Judgment Day. Devil, unless you repent and turn to Jesus Christ. Yes. Jesus can save you from your wickedness. Nasty. He can That's save serious. you. Your wickedness. Really Jesus can save you. The only time you use the word Jesus, if you're using it as a curse word. The Bible says to choose this day whom ye shall serve. You're making this a decision right now. You're making a choice right now who you want to serve. You hate yourself. You're desperate. What? Freaks, a desperate, horny man. I'm gonna tell you right now. And it's sad that you even call yourself a man. Most of you don't even know what a man is. A bunch of little horny boys. That's what you are. A bunch of little horny boys. Look at this barely 21 year old out here. He's barely legal. Bunch of horny men. Why are you doing this? Why are you in a strip club? Why are you mistreating women? You're asking us why some men are out here on the sidewalk? Why are you mistreating women? Why are you abusing women? Why are you abusing women? How about we ask that question? Every man ain't ever that pussy. Jesus Christ. Yes, he, yeah, I get what he's saying. Before, you know what's bad? You know what I'm saying? But not everybody's out there just air. trying to get laid. Jesus is out this is like, look at it. I mean, God women are beautiful. Today, are women beautiful? Right. Yes, you still they have are. A are women beautiful? You can get right with Jesus Christ. Oh, feminists have a voice nowadays. Let the Jezebel come speak. We know that they rule the men nowadays because the men have been neutered. The men don't have a voice nowadays. The women, the feminists, they're on the rise. Women power. The women need to get back in the kitchen and do the laundry where they belong. But we know that there's no women inside that establishment. We know there's no women 
Yeah. Inside you there. guys are not truly yeah. anything to do you with God. A bunch of feminists, like but no women inside. Good, but it nobody is. is going to judge me except for God. How can you guys call yourselves Time to people get of right God? With Jesus. How can you guys call yourselves people Time of God? Time to get right with God, Jezebel. And judgment. Jezebel. Oh, what a glorious day when the righteous oppress the wicked. That's what you're seeing out here. Righteous men of God standing up against the wicked perverts of this world. The devil of this world. Jesus Christ is going to reign supreme today and for a deja vu. The word of God is before you. Judging you, watching you, and God is going to judge you according to your works. Shame on you, a bunch of perverts. And what kind of sign is that in your parking lot? All of the girls that have walked out of here look like crack whores that you picked up for $2. What kind of sign is that? It's misleading. No wonder you don't have any repeat customers. They all walked in, walked out, and went over to the bar. The parking lot is full of cars from people at the bar. Nobody is here for the girls at Deja Vu. It's cramps and blindness. Time for you to get away right with God. It's time for you to know God. We got a bunch of guys over here drunk and stupid all at the same time. Walking around, all joking and patting each other on the back. Oh, we're men. You're not men. You're still little boys. Time for you to grow up. Put away childish things. I mean, what kind of loser has to pay a woman to take her clothes off? You have no skills. You have nothing that attracts a real woman. So nobody wants you. So you have to spend your lonely nights at Deja Vu paying crack whores to expose themselves. Wicked, wicked, wicked. And God is angry with the wicked every single day. Every day you people wake up, you piss off God. And rightly so, because God is holy, holy, holy. Something you don't know anything about. Because in your mind, everything is holy, holy, holy. Just like the women at this bar. Wicked and abominable before God. And God is watching, beholding the good and the evil. Yeah, you know the truth, buddy. You know what the Word of God says. You're a pervert, and you know it. You're a loser, and your life proves it. Shame on you. I'm talking to you. You're a pervert. You're not a real man. Nothing you do in this life is going to make you a man. But you're looking at men of God. Because we're children of God, we gave up all this world had to offer for that which God has to offer. Salvation through obedience. The Bible says that Jesus Christ is the author of salvation to all them that obey. Time for you to start obeying Jesus Christ. Stop obeying your penis. It's going to get you a syphilis, AIDS, crabs. That's all this place has to offer. Nothing good here. Wicked shame on you. God is going to judge you. You people deserve hell. And you're going to get it. You want to mock God? You want to scoff God? Well, wait till your genitals rot off. Then what good are you? The women at this place don't have any skills. You don't know how to cook. You don't know how to clean. The only thing you can do is lay there like a mattress for some drunk, stupid pervert to lay on top of. And God hates you. They reach outside of strip clubs because most men think it's a very uh, manly thing to be hanging out in a strip club, getting drunk, and giving these filthy whores their money. But as born-again Christians and real men of God, we need to be out here preaching against this wickedness. Slut, whore, nasty, coochie, gross, non-virgin, yuck, disgusting, whores, deja vu. No, never been here. This place is disgusting. You know you're really hard up and you're a real pervert when you come to a place like this. Oh, you're an 
old chicken hawk, you old pervert. Oh, I know, you're serving, you're serving, oh, so that gives you the right to be a pervert because you're in the military. I don't think so. You're going to die and go to hell. Doesn't matter that you're a Marine. You're still going to go to hell. You think you get a free meal ticket just because you're in the Marines? You're going to die and go to hell, you little perverts. Shame on you. Nothing but a bunch of perverts. You're perverts and we're real men. Get any money out here, you filthy slut. Who knows who's been inside of you? You're definitely not a virgin. Shame on you. You don't think God's watching you? God's watching, beholding the evil and the good. And nothing good comes out of this disgusting, despicable, nasty place. Day shift, free. Oh, yeah. Nothing free in here. There's a, there's a price to pay for all of your perversion. Stop raping yourself. Stop masturbating. Stop being a pervert. You're going to die and go to hell, and you deserve it. You deserve to go to hell. Wicked whores, sluts, perverts, on your way to hell. When will you get right with God? Uh, strip clubs are an environment of rape and misuse and abuse of women. We are out here to try to shine light in the darkness. There's a lot of darkness and wickedness around these women, around the men who partake in the abuse. And um, basically what a strip club is, is the breakdown of a family. Uh, vulnerable women are taken, they go to these strip clubs, they present their bodies, and we're here to try to give them some light um, and be a beacon to them so maybe they'll come out, repent, and uh, become the good Christian women that they should be touched by some sort of an uncle, relative, something that's uh, a lot of you girls, a lot of you people are here because you've been molested. You've been taken advantage of and you've perverted your mind. You've perverted your life. You, your parents got divorced. You're a part of the broken home system. And I'm here to say that it's broken, it's broken, and it's broken. Your life is broken, your soul is broken, and you may have even been... The reason why some of you guys are here is because you were raised by an evil single mom. Oh, it's so broken. It's so bad. Oh, I, I could feel bad for you, but you're just destroying even more single moms. Shame. Shame. You're the product of a broken home. And you're breaking more homes. Oh, Bad. Much, do they? Wicked. They don't let you Evil. Out, Sick. You're taking advantage of women here. You're abusing women with your eyes, with your hands, with everything you're doing. You're sick. You're demented. You're disgusting. In hell, fire forever. Sick. Wicked. Filthy. Going to hell fire forever. <laughs> you may you may laugh, you may mock, you may think you're fine, but when you meet God, God, God is gonna make you see how filthy you actually are. I mean, you already know that you're filthy. You already know inside that you're wicked. You, that's you know because that's why you're a crack hoe. That's why they call them crack hoes. You know because of the cocaine the heroin, the drugs, the alcohol, all the drugs that you have to pound every day.